Howdy folks, welcome to episode 15. Today we're going to uh, do some <laughs> do some uh, exploring on the Exodus mission here. So we're going to set our coordinates here because we did find, uh, I'll show you here, if you look up here, we did find two of the sectors that had that. We also did some uh, pirate hunting and we took out a pirate ship and a mother ship and stuff like that and had a little fun. Uh, an extra long, we did an extra long... Uh, an extra long bonus episode for the patrons this weekend you know weekend episode the other thing I did that I want to show you guys is we did clean out this one we definitely cleaned out that of all the salvage so I sent these two guys down here where there's another scrapyard I bought a thing I have a timer <laughs> I have a timer on the phone <laughs> running so I know when my thing is gonna run out but yeah so <laughs> So we're going to go here, and yeah, I also converted the other ship to a, uh, a scrapper, and so we've got two of those now instead of just the one. All right, so something is up here because it already updated our mission. So let's see what's going on here. There we go. It's right over here. All right, so if we go tab, there we go. There's the beacon. Where is it? There we go. Since it's like the only thing in the... Oh, we don't even need to go there, do we? Interact. All right, so negative 448, 200. Okay, so all we need to do is go to our map, and we'll go negative 448, negative 200. So let's go like negative 448. Let's see, this is going to be over this way. And negative 200 so we're gonna go this way it's gonna it's gonna send us this way okay is that it right there there it is all right so we need to go to here so let's see how close we can get in a green square here I you know honestly we don't even need to care about that it's it's not like we're gonna get it's not like we're gonna get pwned by some you know wimpy sector these are the iron ships and stuff right this is the wimpy sector so yeah let's let's just you know famous last words right <laughs> but we're gonna basically what we're gonna do is we're gonna jump from sector to sector to sector there we go and anything here nope nothing here where is where is lady what are you doing it says escort me so are you coming let's see See if it'll show oh you know what i jumped one too far okay all right that's cool that works for me too okay so what we're gonna do is we're gonna go like this and we're gonna go to ha huh, that's funny all right we're gonna go to this and we're gonna tell lady to jump to here right there we go yep right there all right and so we're gonna go like this there we go, and we'll get Lady to meet us there. And let's see what's here. Nothing's here. Okay, so we'll do that. Do we need, can we interact with it? Apparently we can't er interact with this one. Oh, that's just wreckage, that's why. Wreckage. Huh. Let's go check out the wreckage. Let's see if there's any, um, yeah, there is a beacon. You can see that too. All right, let's get Lady and tell Lady to come here too. There we go, and then we can tell it to escort me. Nope, it's not going to do it. Okay, it, I just have to wait for Lady to get here. Let's check out the wreckage here. Let's see what the wreckage is while we're waiting for Lady to show up. See if there's anything that we can uh, scrap on this. Nope, let's go like this. Just curious to see what happens here. Probably should make, should make sure it's actual wreckage before I shoot it, right? Is there anything that's gonna... Anything that's gonna, uh... Come out of this? Because we did shoot some wreckage at an earlier one, and it, it did some... It gave us some cool stuff, so... You never know. There's the turrets are right there. If there are turrets. No, it looks like there's nothing on the turret stands. Okay. 
I'm just kind of curious to see see what was on there. Yeah, I'm not I'm not seeing anything special, and it's just giving me scrap titanium. Okay, so let's just tab until we get the beacon. That's wreckage, wreckage, wreckage. Oh, there it was. There's no shift tab, is there? Nope. Okay, so let's try this again. Beacon, there we go. All right, it's way easier than than trying to nail that with a with your thing. Okay, so we got our next 450. All right, so let's go to um, let's go to Lady, and we're gonna tell it to escort Raptor. There we go. All right. So now, where is our next location? It's down here. All right. 449, 268. Yeah, yeah, that looks like that's it. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to set our thing to somewhere down here. Now we need to make sure that we're an extra. Yeah, that's fine. That's close enough. We'll go, where is it again? It's pretty much due south. So we're going to go like this. And we're going to do that. Yeah, okay. So as long as we stay one short, we're good. Enter coordinates. There we go. Lady can go there. <laughs> that thing's just bouncing off itself. All right, let's do it. <laughs> so yeah, we're gonna keep going across here. Good, she showed up this time. All right, and we're gonna do this one more. And was there anything interesting on here? I thought I saw something interesting, but I think that was just the background. Distress signal from an unknown source. Huh. I think that's just the uh I think that's just the ships that want to uh the the rescue missions you get when you're out here, I think is it that's what that is. I think you get those at like when you're way out by the out outer edge of the thing, you get the distress signals and stuff. Alright, so let's check out the next one. Can we make oh man, we're so close too. Alright, we might as well stop at a system, right? There we go. We'll go to that one. Why not, right? All right, there's nothing in this sector. Nothing, okay. Enough of me. <laughs> now, I know there's some way you can you can do the cooldown, you can change the cooldown time on your uh, on your hyperdrive too, but you still have to wait for the jump route to calculate. So it may or may not be any advantage to do that. All right, what do we find here? Anything cool? There's a resource depot and stuff. Huh, I've never seen that before. Church headquarters. Okay. Let's go to... Where is it? There it is, right there. Enter coordinates. All right. And that is right over here. Oh, we're going to have to wait 50 seconds, aren't we? Okay. Uh, let's check out and see what the equipment dock has. I don't know if the I don't know if the equipment gets better as you get toward the center of the thing or if it's just Yeah, that's all iron and titanium, isn't it? Huh. That's kinda cool. Engine upgrade, scanner upgrade, battery upgrade. Yeah, I think I think the turrets are all iron and titanium this far out. I don't think you can get anything that's that's closer than that. Is there anything else that's not really? Okay, so basically, we honestly we don't even want to buy anything that's that's not even like green or blue because basically you need five uh, in aggregate. You need five of of one to make the next level up. That's probably more. Uh, it's probably closer to four because you get the extras that you know if you do it right, you get the extras that come out uh, that come out of that too. But you know, I think you know you guys know what I mean. So let's go like this. Let's find the beacon. There it is. Can we get it? Can we get the beacon? You know what you can do though? Instead of staying in the ship to do it, you can do this. There. There it was. Right there. See, now we can select it. Alright. Much easier. Alright, there's the next one. But yeah, so if you buy the equipment, um, you're not going to get too much. I mean, you're basically going to spend so much money, uh, I think, getting equipment 
to do that. Where is the next one at? There it is. It's down here. All right, cool. So we should be able to find something close by. There we go, right there. And the coordinates. But yeah, you know, it's so it's and basically to go up two levels it's 25 and then to go up to three levels it's 120. So you need to buy 125 of those in order to go up two levels. So if you're starting at the white to get a blue one, uh the rare, to start at a common to get to the rare, you got to you could have 125 of them, you know, and so that's that's a ton of money and a lot of time, basically just kind of a lot of time uh, spent doing that. So I think I'm going to, here, let's see if we can, yep, cool, can get that. But anyway, let's see what's next here. Oh, we still got to wait for that. Okay, so do we have anything in this? Not really. All right, there's nothing to do, is there? All right, so basically what this is going to do is this is going to, we're probably going to do a few more jumps so you can see how far. One, two, three, four, five. So probably, you know, two more jumps maybe. We'll see. We'll probably have like two more jumps and it'll start, uh, and it'll start doing the, um, the, uh, why, I thought I picked Lady. Huh, interesting but yeah it'll it'll get us to the uh, a couple more jumps and we'll get to the corner here and that's where the the end of that mission is and so hopefully we should have some time to uh, we should have some time to to uh, play around with it by the time we get there all right there we go and we have negative 455 negative 362. Is that another one that I already marked? Apparently, we don't even need to to uh, to do the thing, huh? Interesting. D didn't I just jump to the one where? Because <laughs> it just told me it was updated. That's kind of weird. All right, we can go to here. Might as well. Might as well go to something. You know, maybe there's something interesting there, right? Because yeah, see, there's the beacon and. We never interacted with it to get our there. Interact. See? Negative four sixty five. Yeah, we didn't even interact with it and then it gave us the number this time. That was kinda cool. Oh, it's still see it's still being calculated even though our our thing ran out. <laughs> Alright. We have thirty six minutes on the scrapping. <laughs> uh don't forget about that too. You, you gotta the world's going to explode if you don't remember that one. All right. So we're going to go to, wow, is this another scrapyard? Yeah, it is. Okay. Not that it would actually be any good to us way down here. We're only going to get like cheapo stuff, iron stuff and that out of there. Yeah, we're going to go to here. And let me double check and make sure. Yep, that's one that Lady can reach. Okay, cool. So we still have 50 seconds. And I probably shouldn't fly around in here because there's tons of scrap all over the place. And I don't remember for sure. I th no, my scrap things aren't aren't manual aren't auto fire. They are manual fire because I'm pretty sure I would have noticed that. <laughs> I can even turn them off. There we go. All right, 25 seconds. And where where else do we have? We have. Let's see how that looks on the map. Yeah, that was a really long one there, wasn't it? That one was like twice as far as the other one. So, not sure what happened there. Random generator, maybe? <laughs> that could be what happened? Alright, there we go. Alright, let's do this. This one is going to go here. And our coordinates. Is there anything here? Did we um, did we go into? Yeah, we went into an empty one. That's kind of cool. I like this planet. It's a cool green planet. Let's get Lady to follow us. Three. Yep, this ship still goes thirty six hundred. Nice. So I'm working on the rebuild for the next version, the Mark Three. Yeah, see, it updated already. Cool. We don't even need to talk to the beacons, do we? It's over here. All right. So, 
see what we've got as far as that goes let's go as far as we can all right um map let's go here there we go and f orders escort me there we go all right so yeah anyway i am working on the mark three for this you guys will see episodes seven eight etc on that and so you'll be able to watch the rebuild of that and we're gonna now we're gonna need two more jumps okay so let me see if if there's anything over here not in particular hold on Let's see where lady can reach that might be it might be a green one there yeah there's that one there okay whoops I did it again uh, stop escort me there we go there all right much better <laughs> But yeah, we're going to rebuild this thing, so I'm trying to get it fixed up because it's 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 too much um it's too thin basically. <laughs> it's not too small, it's too thin. Um <laughs> Yeah, so anyway, it's it's that basically. There's there's not enough room to put all the internals. Okay, well that sucks. I think we just got burned. We can't we can't jump to that sector we can't yeah we can't access that sector because it's inside a rift ah oh, that sucks okay so that's what happens when the random number generator uh, <laughs> does things so I guess we're just gonna have to go to more hidden mass sectors and find a new uh, a new starting point for our exodus thing so yeah all right well um let me see here we have some over here that's too bad where where are they there's one there all right start we're just gonna start hitting all the yellow ones so anyway you know what i'm gonna do this i'm gonna hit all the yellow ones i'm not gonna bore you guys to death anymore than i already have <laughs> we're gonna we're gonna hit a bunch of the yellow ones uh i will come back to you when i've got and basically and follow the trail so I will come back to you when I'm either getting like really close to the end of the next trail or uh, when I've hit something interesting so I will be back in just a minute all right we got something interesting going on here so let's go let's go blow up some pirates right let's see let's go like this bandit uh, we're gonna go to lady adventurous and we're gonna tell it to attack enemies and we're gonna go attack enemies we're gonna go to bandit or wherever there we go and I do need to be careful as far as uh, <laughs> not running into not running into uh, asteroids here there we go All right, and and this one. Wow, these guys are really wimpy, aren't they? They're super super wimpy. Okay, is that all of them? Nope, there's still more. Okay. Here we go. We're going to go pick up some of these. There we go. That is that my point defense? Yeah, that's my point defense. There we go. Nice. There we go. All right. All right, let's see what we can pick up here. If there's any... Oh, there's still more coming, aren't there? All right, that's fine with me too. Let's go like this. All 
What's the range on these guys? How is Lady doing? That's what I would need to know. You know, Lady still has shields, so that's a good sign. Alright. Did we get them all? I think we got them all. Alright. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go into build mode here, and we're going to repair this thing. There we go. Okay. Another 20 seconds. Alright. That's fine, too. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to get out of the ship... And I'm just going to use the drone, because we're in the middle of an asteroid field. I'm going to use the drone to go around and collect all the weapons, turrets, and systems that might have been dropped. And I'm not going to bore you guys with the uh, <laughs> with doing all this, because I think, I think we've had enough boredom for this episode. So yeah, I'm going to finish doing all this, and I will meet you guys in the next interesting thing that happens. All right, we're back. We got another pirate mothership, and so what we're going to do is we're going to have some fun here, and we're going to go to this. We're going to go to Lady Adventurous. We're going to tell her to attack enemies. There we go, and we're going to lock on to one of these guys here, and we'll go take out the, uh, the pirates. There we go. And where are they? go we're gonna take out the mothership oh it's immune oh that's mean huh okay and where's the other is the mothership uh, just immune to my Tesla things and that's it there we go Come on. There we go. There we go. Alright, what do we got here? Huh. Or is that just immune to my... Somebody's doing damage to it. Huh. wonder why it's immune. Oh, do we still have... We still have more pirates to, to kill. That's probably why. Okay, so let's get Lady Adventurous to come escort me again. Because we can get her out of range of that thing, and we'll get the pirates to, to attack us at, uh, at distance, so they're not just... Here. Uh, Lady Adventurous escort? Where's escort? Really? Where's escort me? Come on. Here. Um, map... Lady Adventurous, escort me. There we go. All right. Whoa, we got incoming torpedoes too? Wow. Where's our point defense? Where's our point defense? Where is Lady? Come on, Lady. Let's go this way. Come on, Lady. Come back this way. Ooh, is the mothership moving now? Huh. Yeah, Lady's going to end up getting destroyed, isn't she? <laughs> if we don't do something. She's just getting overrun here, and we're not doing any damage. Okay, let's just go to the next place. All right. Um, yep, I will uh, I'll find you guys. I'll let you guys know the next thing that happens. Oh, you know what? They're not immune now. You're not immune anymore, are you? Okay, I guess we will finish them off. Look at that. Oh, yeah.
Come on. Yeah, I'm getting too close to him. I know. I know, I'm getting too close to him. There we go. Anybody else? Who's next? There we go. Alright. Well, that was fun. I think we got everybody. Yep, we got everybody. Alright, I'm going to clean up. I'll meet you guys at the next place. <laughs> huh. You know what? I think we were just at the wrong angle for that. I think it was just blocking us because uh, we were trying to come through there. This one wasn't actually part of the rift. I thought the rift was going this way. I don't know. Let's check it out. Let's go this way and see what happens when we do. Right? Maybe we maybe we will be able to get to the uh, to the end of this to the center of the Tootsie Roll Pop <laughs> by the yeah there we go negative four thirty nine four sixty three where is it there we go okay so let's see how close oh it's gonna be a couple jumps all right well I'm gonna do a couple jumps to get there and I'll meet you there in just a second all right we are check this out ancient gate. How cool is that? I assume those are the ones that you get unlocked. There's a there's a different mission that unlocks those, as far as I understand. All right, that was cool. Establish connection. You know what? Before we do this, um, this is the one. Negative four twenty. Yeah, this is the one where it's gonna it's gonna tell us a whole bunch of stuff. So, ooh, we got a we got a new uh, detector too. So what I need to do before we get into that is I need to go back to here because I have eight minutes left on my thing and this may or may not take too long and I don't want to have to stop in the middle of it so we're gonna go back to our scrapping there we go we're gonna go back to our salvaging operation over here uh, we're gonna let's see we're gonna switch to sector yeah we're gonna go back over to this thing and I'm gonna reset the uh, <laughs> I'm gonna buy a new license before that expires and that I'll meet you guys back here for the finish of this mission all right we're back and we've got there we go all right so we're gonna do this static okay nothing <laughs> is this thing on is this thing on uh, apparently we've connected to a comedian all right what hello who is this are you from operation exodus Operation Exodus? Yes, yes. Well, and no, I don't understand. We never took part in Operation Exodus ourselves. It was our ancestors who did it. Your ancestors? <laughs> yes, it's the people who come before us, but that's not important right now. Um, <laughs> the Exodus took place more than a hundred years ago. Who are you? They're, yep, yeah, we're the descendants. Okay, so their ancestors used to live near the center of the galaxy. What happened a few hundred years back? Alien species appeared in the center of the galaxy. Those guys, we knew aliens since the great rise of technology. Everybody knew how to build and use spaceships. This is how we all colonized space in the first place. But the Zotan were, Zotan were different, cold, careless. They didn't care for anybody. They didn't even answer our attempts to communicate. They just appeared, and it seemed like they didn't care about anything at all. Then they started harvesting. <laughs> They ate away everything. Asteroid ships, some say they even consume entire planets. Wow, they're like, uh, what's his name? From the uh, Transformers, right? Uh, after a great battle, we realized that we didn't stand a chance. They were not unbeatable. We did manage to win several battles. It's Now it's driving me crazy that I can't remember the planet-eating dude in Transformers. Leave a comment and tell me. <laughs> I'll be shouting it at the end of the episode. I remember now! Uh, but they just kept pouring out of the center more and more. In the end, it didn't matter. They would just overrun us as they had way more resources. The other thing that was left for us to do was to flee, so we started Operation Exodus. Now we live here. <laughs> okay. Uh, who are you? Yeah, we did that. What happened? A few hundred years back, an alien species appeared. Yeah, we... What happened here? Okay. Yeah, I, we did that. We did that. Ah, stop that. <laughs> Let's try this again. Okay. 
Yes. Okay. Ah. Uh, what is Operation Exodus? Was largest migration the galaxy had seen. <laughs> After we realized we couldn't beat the Zot Zotan at the time, we decided to flee. They were getting closer and closer to our home sector, so together with our allies, we decided it was time to fall back and work out a new strategy. Realized that the Zotan were expanding their territory from the center, so we thought the best move would be to get away from the center, right? Journey to the edge of the galaxy. Hope this might give us enough time to find a strategy to beat them. Half the galaxy agreed to join us, and we proceeded with the preparations. Then they hit us. We didn't know if they knew what we were planning or if it was just a coincidence, but subspace rifts started to appear. Okay, so they're supplying lore for the subspace rifts, too, toward the galaxy. It just shreds billions of lives. Why only billions? Why only billions? I mean, you think about how many you can fit on planets and stuff, and they always underestimate that. Do you guys watch Ar Isaac Arthur at all? Uh, anyway, <laughs> entire sectors just disappeared. It was a slaughter. And the worst part, we never even saw a single Sotan ship. The alliance was weakened, and there were thousands of factions arriving out of the chaos. We, we had come too far and invested too many resources Gambler's fallacy, right? So we had to go through with the Operation Exodus. But it was too disorganized. Nothing went according to plan. Well, you know, the best laid plans of mice, right? Uh, most members of the Alliance were even agreeing on where we should go. Finally, we decided that we could not wait any longer. We took off and left behind beacons that would leave the members of the Operation Exodus to this place. So yeah, basically that's what those... That's what those beacons were. And now we live here. I like that. <laughs> Why do you live here? We were disorganized, demoralized, and weak. Our best guess is that a lot of the people in the other sectors here knew that. And a large convoy like ours was not exactly easy to hide. Were they about to put the hammer down? Because they got themselves a convoy. <laughs> Oh, man, stop me with the references, right? We were constantly attacked. They wanted our technology, our ships, our weapons. <laughs> For a long time, we managed to fight them back, but at some point, we couldn't fight any longer, and we were overwhelmed. Our hyperspace drives were destroyed, and now we're stuck here. And now we live here. <laughs> they actually did. They actually said it. Oh, that's great. And now we live here. Where are you? Does everything end with, and now we live here. We're scattered all over these wreckages. Like, on them? Oh, in them, okay. I would never have thought that anybody would come out here. We set up this beacon, but we never thought anybody would use it. Many more of us in other sectors, but sadly, we can't reach them. And now we... <laughs> ah, what is this place? <laughs> This is the place where our last great defeat happened. We were overwhelmed by outlaws and bandits. When they realized that our technology was completely incompatible and this worthless, they left our ancestors to die here. Okay, since our hyperdrives are all gone, we're stuck here. We're living in the wreckages of a convoy that was meant to, for the migration of millions. We have enough food energy to sustain us for hundreds of years to come. Cool, and, and now we live here. Uh, do you know how to beat the Zotan? Are no more special than ours or yours. They're strong, but you can defeat them in combat. The main problem is that there's just so many of them, okay? You have to stop them from calling in reinforcements. We don't know how to do that or where they're coming from, but when our ancestors were fighting them, they managed to get their hands on some of their technology. You can have some of it if you want. It's worthless to us anyways. We jumped one of the other facts in it. There it is. It just gave it to me, didn't it? Okay, have it. Have a look around, and now we live here. <laughs> All right. Uh, I don't know if they can give us more of those. Let's see. There we go. All right, we got more. All right, I'm going to grab a couple more of these, and I think that is it for episode 15, because I'm sure we're out of time for today. So, yeah, join me in 15 and a half or 16. And uh, we'll, we'll do some more, find some more uh, of these quests and stuff like that too. So yeah, I'll see you guys in the next episode. Later.